Monday, October 23rd, 6 a.m. Mountain Time, 2017. Earthquake swarms, volcanoes beginning to rumble. You may or may not have heard of the Soda Springs, Idaho earthquake swarm last month. It's carrying over into this month, just not as extreme. Soda Springs is near a geyser park, a geyser that was man-made nearly, what, 80 years ago? They were drilling, apparently, to find a hot water source for a swimming pool, as the story is told, hitting this, uh, creating this geyser. They've capped it, and now the geyser is released manually once every hour, shooting a geyser 100 feet into the air. One thing I did notice about the background picture on a different note, look at these trees. If, if this is in Idaho at the geyser uh, park in Soda Springs, those trees look like they're heat damaged or something. Maybe it's from the geysers. I don't know, but I just noticed that the evergreens are no longer evergreen. They're turning brown. You've heard of the uh, quake swarm at Yellowstone this year setting a record. 2,500, almost 2,500. It will be probably by the end of the month. As they continue, an earthquake swarm at Yellowstone. Any earthquake at Yellowstone is concerning, especially a swarm. I want to take you over to the state of Washington and Mount Rainier. This was uh, brought to my attention yesterday by Sandra uh, and Alan of Twin Flame Divine Fire Truth Frequency Radio, which we will be doing a radio show this weekend on Sunday. I'll give you the details uh, later on this week. But Mount Rainier apparently has been rumbling. Not only has it been rumbling, its uh, activity is being detected above ground in the cone. Here is a seismograph of Mount Rainier. This is at Camp Sherman. This is to the north side of the volcano. And as you can see yesterday, it was very intense. There was a 2.7 near Harbor, Washington. That's the 2.7 right there if you go back in time this is the 21st you can see that this seismo is very very active and once again it's on this side of the volcano which would be the north side last month there was a story put out at zero hedge about a active earthquake earthquake swarm at mount rainier it was just 23 earthquakes maybe a few more but nevertheless it was a swarm and it's a sign of uh, sign of the times. There is action in the in the Pacific Northwest of the United States, from Yellowstone, uh, west of Yellowstone, even at uh, Jackson Hole. I heard there was some activity there as well. There is Mount Rainier. Here's another look at Mount Rainier. The north side of the slope is seeing some action, and it's actually up in the dome. So very interesting. You can look at the seismos, and it goes back all the way to I went back to the 1st of October, and you can see a lot of activity. That is a quake, 2.7 near Darrington, Washington. This is not considered an official earthquake, nor is that, nor is that, nor is that. It's more than likely some sort of magma, some type of gas movement inside the, the volcano. Just part of the overall mechanics of the volcano will be detected by seismographs. That's what they're there for. And as you can see, it's doing a fine job. Look at that. That was on October 18th. Very active during the 4 and 5 o'clock hour. That was on the 18th. Look at the 17th. Same thing. During the 19, 20, 21, 22, clear into the 23. Those were not earthquakes, but they did precede. This action here did precede an earthquake in uh, Yakima, Washington. Crescent City, California, and Yakima, Washington. Crescent City, California. Why would that be on here? And Eureka, California. All right, whatever. But there was four small earthquakes, 3.0, 2.7, 2.5, and 2.8. But this action here was detected hours prior to those earthquakes. So Rainier is rumbling. Definitely keep a close eye on that. There are other volcanoes in the area up here in the Pacific Northwest. You have Baker, you have Mount Hood. Obviously, St. Helens is the most famous from its 1980 eruption. There's Mount Hood down in here 
uh, north, actually south of the Oregon border in Northern California is Mount Shasta right there. But we're watching Rainier right now. All eyes are on Mount Rainier as it is beginning to rumble. Keep you updated as time moves forward. Thanks for watching and be safe out there.